Uh, Marion Wright Edelman, who founded the Children's Defense Fund, asked me to open the Ohio office in 1981. I had been working at that time in Cleveland, um, in which was a high poverty community, uh, lots of hardworking people, but the, the economy had gone sour. And so I think that uh, uh, there was a connection there. We prided ourselves on three things, that we were fact-based, we were scrupulously nonpartisan, and, and then we worked on programs that affected large numbers of children. Unlike most social service organizations where very understandably they work child by child, we were trying to affect policies such as the lack of service to the working poor uh, that affected large numbers of children. It was about 1992 or so, and I lived in Cincinnati, and I was on uh, the Mayor's Commission on Children at the time. And I became a aware of the Children's Defense Fund because there was a vice president of Procter & Gamble, actually Bob Whaling, who had been working with the Children's Defense Fund and had been working with Mark Rio. He said, do you all know about the Children's Defense Fund and do we want to have an office here? Well, when he finished telling me what it was like and when Mark came down and met with the group, but I said, this is mine, I'm going to get it. And so that's what happened. When I went to work for CDF was when they opened an office in Cincinnati and they were looking for an executive director and so I applied for that position and didn't get it. They called me up and they said, oh, we found this wonderful woman named Eileen Reed and she's going to be the executive director and I said, okay, and they said, but we have a second job in the office and we'd really like you to take it and I said, no, no thanks, I really wanted to be the executive director. And I believe it was Mark Real at the time who said to me, well, come and meet Eileen. And so I said, okay. And I went and met Eileen and within five minutes, I knew I wanted not only to work for CDF, but I wanted to work with Eileen. One year, and it must have been in the late 90s, uh, you know, childcare was a real hot issue. And so what we did was organize mothers at the local level and we took a couple of buses with them and their children to testify before the state legislature. Now, normally it would have been us. It would have been the professional advocates testifying, but the people who made the difference were the people who had the lived experience of needing it and being able to tell their stories and hear state legislators listen to them. And guess what? We got childcare that year the way that parents needed to. So the first time I was with Children's Defense Funds, you know, early in my career, it was for about a year and a half, but I always knew that I was going to come back at some point. I had the good fortune of returning about three years ago as executive director of, of the Ohio office and so incredibly proud of this opportunity um, to make a difference in this new role. I think one of the things that CDF Ohio has done very well is that they've taken the kids count data, they've taken their own data and looked at how we look at behavior health for students, how we look at the data that's impacting the health care of uh, children in the state, and that's really helped us move the state agenda around. Well, I like to say that budget is policy because if you don't put resources um, with policy, you will not probably make a change. Very little comes for free. Um, so immunizations cost money, um, improvements in poverty policy cost money, improvements in child support cost money, um, and sometimes it's not a lot of money, but uh, without it, um, we cannot move forward. We're very lucky in Ohio to have the dedication of Tracy and her staff, because it takes dedication, constant dedication. So um, I feel very positive about everything and hope that, you know, all these beautiful children are healthy and safe and well cared for and loved and educated. It is such a joy to be able to celebrate 40 years of CDF and for me, it was so fulfilling to work with Mark, who was just an exceptional leader. I know that Tracy is doing a great job now, um, and I, my 
hope for CDF is that you just keep doing what you do so well and keep these issues in, in front of us. That is my hope for 40 years from now, that we eliminate child poverty, that we build economic um, opportunity for all families to, to thrive, to flourish, and that you know, you can look at a report card or you can look at statistics about children and their well-being, whether it be in education or health, and not see those disparities by their zip code, by their race, or by any other factor. That is my wish for us.